Hello everyone, welcome to Money Control. Let's catch up on the latest news from the stock market. From significant investments to major deals, fundraising and appointments. Here is a quick look at which stocks will be in focus in today's trade. Firstly, Tata Motors. JLR, a subsidiary of the company, recorded retail sales of 1.03 lakh units for the quarter ended September 2024 down 3% compared to the same period a year ago. Production during the period declined by 7% year-on-year to 86,000 units due to disruptions in the aluminium supply chain in quarter 1 financial year 25. Wholesales were down 10% year-on-year to 87,303 units. JLR expects production and wholesale volumes to recover strongly in the second half of the year. If we talk about the second stock that is going to be in focus is Hitech. The board of directions of Hitech Pipes on Monday proved the launch of the QIP. After setting the floor price for the issue at Rs 194.98 per equity share, the fundraising committee at its meeting held on 7th of October finalized and adopted the preliminary placement document in the meeting. According to the exchange filing, the company may at its discretion offer a discount of not more than 5% on the floor price for the issue. The issue price will be determined by the company in consultation with the book running lead manager appointed in relation to the issue, it added. Hitech Pipes, which is the third largest pipe maker of the country with a capacity of nearly a million tons, plans to raise as much as Rs 600 crore through QIP, Money Control reported earlier. If we talk about the third stock that is going to be in focus is HDFC Bank. The largest private sector lender HDFC Bank on 7th of October announced its board's approval for the sale of its 100% stake in HDFC Education and Development Services Private Limited to Vanna Sundari Investment Private Limited for Rs 192 crores. We wish to inform you that the board of directors of the bank has today approved the sale of a 100% stake in HDFC Education to Vamma Sundari Investment Private Limited, being the successful bidder under the sale process, the company said in a stock exchange filing. The divestment mandated by the Reserve Bank of India requires HDFC Bank to fully exit from HDFC Edu within two years of its merger with EHDFC Limited with a final deadline set for 30th of June 2025. The fourth stock is Incon International. Contractor Apex Bilsis Limited filed a claim worth Rs 38.71 crore against Incon International Limited over disputes related to their Rai Bareilly project. The core of the dispute revolves around liquidated damages, deductions, PVC and overhead changes according to an exchange filing on Monday. The work involves the construction of multiple specialized facilities including a wheel shop. The project entails architectural and structural design along with the fabrication, supply and erection of pre-engineered steel buildings at Lalganj Rai Bareilly. The fifth stock is Iraya Life Space. Araya Life Space announced that it recently acquired subsidiary Ibix Cash Limited, which has secured a significant contract from PNB, one of the India's top public sector banks. The contract, valued at approximately Rs 138.75 crore, is for network integrating services and has been awarded for a period of three years. The scope of the agreement includes managing PNB's extensive network, which covers 10,800 branches, 5,000 ATMs, and 4,000 branches of PNB sponsored regional rural banks. Ibix Cash will also oversee the bank's state of the art data center in Delhi, the Advanced Network Operations Center, and the Disaster Recovery Center in Mumbai, along with 13 zonal offices and 131 circle offices. With that, it's a wrap. So, there you have it. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to moneycontrol.com and Money Control's YouTube channel.